Hi everyone, for Let's Do Die Cutting Monday, I used these bow dies, and I only made three of them because it took a long time. It cut very well. I didn't have to run it through a million times or anything, but I still had to poke out all these little holes, and then I remembered that just because I love intricate dies doesn't mean that I'm going to love working with them. So, that is the die I used. I got it on Tamu, and I just used, I just made three. So, this one is from, um, this is from Stampin' Up! It's Sweet as a Peach Paper Pack. I have a few of these, so, and then the other side just has peaches on it. And that's another thing that, I don't know if you guys have an issue with this, but I started making these with single-sided paper, and then you could see all the white and everything around it inside, and I threw it out because you can't, you know, you could. it look, didn't look good. So, I don't know if you guys have an issue with that, but I would use double-sided paper if you have it, just so you don't have all that white. Or you can maybe ink it up or something on the other side, just so you don't see white. And I put a little... Um, green heart jemmy that I had in my stash so that was the first one then the second one this is also a paper pack from Stampin' Up it was the safari pack and these were leaves and little flowers on it and then the opposite side was like I guess I don't know zebra print maybe right I think so I used one of, oops, so I used that paper pack to make this little bow and I have this little flower in the middle that um, I got from Hobby Lobby. It pick, kind of picks up the yellow and the little flowers and um, I liked it and um, it was all these these little flowers from Hobby Lobby. I put them in one of these containers. They're all different sizes and all different colors. They have little tiny, tiny baby ones. And then they have these, which are the biggest ones. I mean, they have that size. And like the little tiny ones are even tinier than this one. The little tiny ones in there. So that should last me quite a while. And this container I got from um, Dollar Tree last year, Baked with Love. It came with three in a pack, and they all have different sayings up here. So I keep my little gems in there. And then the last one I made, this was some Gina K cardstock. It's pink with a little design on it, and you really can't tell because... The camera is making it look like a cream color, but it's not. It's a pink. And um, she was doing a card kit. And when she does card kits, you know, when she does bundles, you'll get a few things. But when she does a card kit, you'll actually get some paper. You'll get ink. You get a little bit more in the card kits. Which she, she does the bundles more than card kits per, the, per year, but... So, um, it was the pink, the blue, the yellow, and then there was like a, a grayish color. So that was in my, my stash and it's, you know, on the same side. And I put, um, I didn't have any light pink, um, hearts, but I used this pink heart because I thought it kind of, um, eh, made it stand out a bit. And so I thought that that was nice. So that's what I did today for Die Cutting Monday. Here are my little bows. And here is the die. Um, I have a couple of these. I have different kind of um, dies, bow dies, but I don't have tons because I don't need tons. So I might have, I think I have this one and I think I have maybe two or three other ones and a couple of little plain ones I have. Well, I don't really make them too often, but I just loved this one. I just saw all the detail in it, and I needed to get it. I think they're adorable. So they'll either go on a swap or on a project, 
depends what comes first, I guess. So that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Happy crafting, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.